OK, this is just a little talk of the difference between circuit switching and packet switching. Both of these are ways of sending a file over a network. Say you wanted to send a file from this computer here to this computer over here. For example, say this file. Get rid of that background. So you want to send it. Common sense would say, right, choose the quickest route, say along here, set it up and just send it along. The only problem with this method is because the file is big, it will, uh, you'll have to reserve this bit of the network and no other file can use it. Being big, it will take a long time and you may be able to send the file fast but no one else will be able to use the network. So, uh, I had something called packet switching was developed. Packet switching differs from this method, which is called circuit switching, as the actual circuit is the thing which changes, and instead uses uh, smaller files. It takes that one large file up into a series of these smaller files and says, right, because they're small, they won't take long, and we don't reserve the entire direct route, we'll just use a small bit, we'll find the quickest route at each node. So say you start here, that one may be blocked by another file, so you'll send it along here. The program will then detect, detect from a little header in the file where it's meant to go. And it will say, right, that's the general direction, which of these nodes are free, and whichever is free and quickest, it will use that one. So it may take a bit of a long route and go all the way over here to get there, but it doesn't take up much of the network and makes best use of it. It always takes the fastest route. So you could send that one and then another one comes along and goes this way. And the routes may change and some files may transfer faster than others and eventually you build up all four pieces of the file over here. But they may not be in order so as I said, some may be faster than others. So also in the file, what you include, as well as where it's going to, you include where it's coming from, so it knows they're all part of the same file. And then also what piece of the file it is in order. So that may be labeled 1, that one 2, that one 3, that one 4. You could have hundreds of them, but the computer knows what order they are, sorts them out, puts them together, and it comes off with a big file. That way you get no bottlenecks in the network and it's generally faster. This sort of uh, thing isn't quite that simple. It doesn't just go, ooh, that one's free, I'll take that. There are actual algorithms involved, but it's a bit too advanced for this video. All you really need to know is it takes the quickest route. Sometimes, though, you get problems. Like, for example, it could be at this node, all the rest of my blocks will go up there. Then all the rest will be blocked and go there. And it may get stuck into a loop like that. So what you do is you count how many jumps it's made between nodes. And if it goes over a certain limit, say 100, it deletes itself and the computer will send again. That way you're never waiting overly long for one piece of the file. The other problems and stuff, but that is the main difference between circuit switching and packet switching. One reserves a direct route, and one moves a little individual pieces. That's all for this video. Goodbye.